Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Angela Wallace. Some people know me as the Nomad Recruiter. I travel around the world and make placements for a living. If you are thinking about starting a recruitment agency, make sure you check out nomadrecruiters.com. I do have an online course where I teach you everything that you need to know. I also offer a free ebook that you can download, and I have a free training for you to check out as well. So today we're going to be talking about starting a recruitment agency in 2023. If you guys have been putting it on hold and you're just like, man, I'm ready to get started, I'm ready to take action. Well, today Today is the day as you watch this video, we're going to jump straight into it. So look, starting off, most importantly, I go over this so much, but if you're looking to get into recruitment, you're looking to start your own agency, you have to find a niche, okay? And if you're one of those people that are like, well, what should I niche in? A lot of people want to niche in things like, you know, uh, technology, sales, healthcare. And I see so many people that want to niche in healthcare. And it's, and it's just like, well, look, do what you love and do what you know at the end of the day. That is extremely important. Um, do what you know and do what you love. I cannot stress that enough. If you've been working in sales for 10 years, possibly you can do technical sales or sales engineers. If you've been working in healthcare as an LPN or LVN, you can do you know, you could do, you could specialize in placing um, LPN and LVN people as well. Okay. Excuse me, guys. Most importantly, you want to be able to just know the niche that you're specializing in from top to bottom. So you can do customer service, you could do sales, you could do IT, and you can research this stuff as well um, at the end of the day. My advice and my managers, you know, I worked in recruitment for almost 10 years now and I started off at a recruitment agency. I actually have agency experience. My managers always told me it's best to find a niche that is not, that is really hard in demand, but less competition, okay? Because you have to factor in whatever you niche in, you're gonna be competing with hundreds of recruiters um, at the end of the day. So you wanna make sure you choose a niche that is that has a high demand, but also possibly less competition as well. You know, we are seeing a lot of new niches out there in the cannabis space, cryptocurrency, uh, blockchain. We're seeing cybersecurity. We're seeing, you know, so many, uh, so many newer ranges and new, new different sectors every day. But you have to go out there and do your research on a niche at the end of the day. You want to get yourself a business account. You want to make sure you're able to write a lot of things off in your taxes when you start, you know, operating as a recruitment agency because you're going to be going to a lot of client meetings. You're going to be using a lot of software tools. You're going to have to buy some equipment as well for your home office. So I would strongly encourage you to get an LLC. You can always do it online or you can hire someone to do it, but do not overthink the process. Just get started. Go get an LLC and go open up a bank account uh, at one of your closest small banks or um, any bank that's nearby to you. I always recommend going with the small banks because they're always more open to giving small business owners loans compared to the big banks sometimes as well. So I would strongly encourage that um, at the end of the day. Next thing you want to do is you want to start, you probably want to start off with two software tools. I would say start off with LinkedIn um, and Indeed. You're going to use Indeed and LinkedIn to find candidates, but you also can use them to find clients, okay? Now with LinkedIn, you have a number of different packages. You have LinkedIn Live, LinkedIn Recruiter and Sales Navigator. You can start off with Light or Sales Navigator. You don't need LinkedIn Recruiter starting off. I would not advise you to spend thousands of dollars starting off as a new agency, especially if you're new to the recruitment industry, because if all honestly, it may not work. There are a lot of people I see get into the industry and it, they're not as successful. And the thing about it, it's the most important thing is that you try and you give it a chance, you give your all, and but you need to just test out a lot of things at the end of the day. One of the things you need to write down is recruitment is all about curiosity. Always be curious when it comes to your candidates, when it comes to your clients, when it comes to learning something new. Curiosity is what's gonna help you survive and help you win as you continue to grow your agency. I cannot stress this enough, but I'll start off with a D, I'll start off with LinkedIn Recruiter and start, and then from there, you wanna start building a pipeline full of candidates. You need to be talking to the market. I cannot stress this enough. Whatever you niche in, talk to the market, understand the market, and learn how to qualify your candidates and qualify your clients you need to understand what's a red flag client and what's a green flag client at the end of the day when it comes to the people that you're working with okay now when you build up that pipeline of candidates you then want to start learning how to find clients you need to do business development you need to come up with strategies you can always purchase a course or there's a lot of free content on YouTube I have a couple videos that shows you how to find clients
events on my YouTube, but also I have an online course where I offer weekly coaching. So you're able to hop on a call with me every week as you continue to grow your agency as well at the end of the day. I would strongly encourage you to get a cell phone. I have two cell phones. And I would encourage you to get a laptop and potentially a, a really good uh, video. Uh, I have a Logitech Pro, Logitech Brio, um, which is what I'm using right now to make my YouTube videos. But a really good, clean camera just in case you have to do Zoom videos at the end of the day. It is extremely important that you do something like that. So I would get a laptop, I would get a cell phone. Potentially, if you know, if you struggle working at home, you can always look at co-working memberships. You can always go to cafes and work. You can look at WeWork offices and so many other. Now, other software tools I'm going to talk to you about is tools called contact out swordfish and lucia now these are these are tools um, that you can use to find people names and numbers when you're doing your business development so it's really important that you check out these tools um, at the end of the day and last but not least you will need to set up automation now i do teach you how to use automation inside of my program inside of my online course but you can learn it for free on youtube as well if you're looking to get started at the end of the day now automation can be used to you know reach out to clients when you're trying to pitch to them about your agency and how you can help and how you can help them with hiring needs at the end of the day Listen, the demand for hire is going to always continue to grow and recruitment is a thriving industry. You can make as much money as you want to make. I always tell people in my videos, you know, I don't, you know, it's no Lambos, it's no matches here. I teach you how to be free and that's, I just want to be sincere as possible. I have students who are very successful and I have some students who are not successful, but success is what you make it and success is what you want to do. I, you know, it depends on your lifestyle. Some of my students like myself travel around the world they work one month on and two months off and then i have other students that make 50 to 100 thousand a month so you can make however much money you want to make at the end of the day and that's the beautiful thing about recruitment it gives you freedom and this is why i'm inspired you know inspiring you and i want you guys to look into starting a recruitment agency in 2023 if you have been thinking about doing it at the end of the day. Now, I've talked about my software tools from LinkedIn to Indeed, from Contact Out to Lucia. Uh, mostly, these are the things that you need to get started. And if you're looking for potentially any CRMs, where you got HubSpot, you got Salesforce, um, another one is Monday.com that you can check out. But you don't really need a CRM database until you start building up that pipeline or you have a lot of people coming in. I do not want you guys wasting money when you start out. It is extremely important that you do not waste money. If you are an overthinker, I do encourage you to buy a course. It doesn't even have to be my course. I sincerely, you know, I think people who are overthinkers, people who struggle with direction, it makes your life easier to go out there and buy a course. I believe besides myself, there's maybe three or four other coaches out there that sell coaching programs and always do your research into these coaching programs. You want to research your students. You want to research their credibility, their testimonies. And, you know, I always say, if you're going to buy a program for someone, look at the person that's giving you the free content. And if you feel like you're learning a lot from their free content, but this, just imagine what's inside of their program if they're giving you so much information online for free. So do your research at the end of the day. Like I said, there are other coaches besides myself, but always, you know, it can save yourself a lot of time if you're looking to get started uh, with your business um, at the end of the day. So for the most part, you know, we got your niche, you got your business. Now you definitely want to come up with a good business name as well. So depending on what you specialize in, just make sure that clients understand that you are a recruiting agency. I cannot stress this enough. Often people come up with business names and they sound like a dentist office or they sound like a consulting company and people don't really understand who you are. So make sure you, you have a name that identifies and expresses who you are, especially when they look you up through your SEO on Google and so many things. You definitely want to get yourself a website. Do not overthink the website, but I would just strongly encourage you to have something clean and simple, okay? You can check out my website, thedatarock.io, or you can check out other recruitment websites, but mostly what you want is the about us, your services, potentially some blogs and some content that just lets clients know who you are. Do not overthink the website, but just have it for credibility. Most importantly, you want to have a strong LinkedIn profile, 
and you want to have a strong LinkedIn company page and you want to be posting content, you want to be getting yourself out there at the end of the day. Now, some people may be asking, well, what if I have a job and I don't want my client, my bosses to know that I started a recruitment side hustle? I completely understand that. You can block your bosses on LinkedIn or you can use a friend or a family member um, account to start another LinkedIn account. You also could use a virtual assistant and hire a VA to assist you, which is something I teach in my program, but you can use a VA to assist you if you don't want to put your yourself out there online yet, just yet once you're getting started look guys if you love this content i need you to hit that like button i need you to subscribe to the channel i need you to help your boy out i got 10 kids to feed i don't have no children <laughs> but help me out if you like this content if you want to see more content like this i want to see you win 2023 is going to be your year you have to get started now you have to ask yourself if not now when the time is now take action on your life all right guys look i'll see you soon i appreciate the support